1860 saw the beginning of a transformation of the town of Motherwell. This film shows the town as it was then and as it was 10 to 20 years later. This site in Mary Street was earmarked for the building of the hill. The hotel has now been completed. Looking down Mary Street from Mill Road, Leslie Street's on the right with Cullen Park Terrace farther down towards Calder Bridge. One of the side streets with the old type of bin carts in use then. The cottage in Rome Road opposite the Daisy Park Centre as it was in 1960 where the former railway line to the gasworks ran and was at that time derelict. Calder Street, which now forms Monteith Road, looking towards Mary Street, showing the rear of the buildings. This is behind what was known as King's Building, at the corner of Calder Street and Mary Street. Looks as if the laundry of the football team is done here. The bar was demolished to make way for the one-way system. After reconstruction, traffic coming up Monteith Road from Muir Street. being made in Park Street before the new one-way system was reconstructed. <music> corner of Park Street showing Calder Street corner in the distance. Looking from Mary Street towards the Cross. Building at Motherwell Cross, which is still there, although the occupants of the shops have changed. Motherwell Station as it was then. This was taken during the electrification of the line between Euston and Glasgow. The new system required a greater height. The bridges in Mary Street had to be raised. This caused quite a considerable dislocation of traffic. can be seen in this picture with the higher bridge under course of construction. A Street, where the traffic can be seen coming over the rise where the bridge is being raised. The 
change in the fashion of children's dress from 1960. Moving along West Hamilton Street towards Hamilton Road. These houses were all demolished and new houses erected. Approaching the passageway into Avon Street, looking from Watson Street down towards Mother Cross, you can see the spire of Brandon Church, which was later demolished. One of the famous Wally Closes. tower was quite a feat of engineering and fascinating to watch. Street. why they are called Spider-Men. And now the building is complete. Towards Windmill Hill Street, where the Civic Centre is due to be built. corner beside the buildings which are scheduled for demolition to make way for the new civic centre. The same scene with the completed civic centre in the background. Post office building in the Hamilton Road. Looking up Brandon Street, Cross Hill Church may be seen in a distance. Barry Street and Brandon Street. A great deal of work went into this part of the reconstruction at the end of Monteith Road 
approaching West Hamilton Street. Motherwell folk were very patient, putting up with all the dirt and the disruption which was caused by this project. A view of the houses in Brandon Street, which are now being demolished to make way for the shopping centre. underpass is being constructed. completed. The bridge over the railway is well on its way. Hamilton Street towards Hamilton Road with Brandon Court in the background. It was being diverted to allow work on the underpass from West Hamilton Street into the shopping centre. Side of the shopping centre has been completed, but work has now commenced on the demolition of the west side in West Hamilton Street. the rear of the shops in Mary Street or Brandon Parade East as it is now called. The Royal Train with the Duke of Edinburgh at the controls at this point. to Mary Street.
The underpass at Mary Street is being constructed. And now it is complete. Up Airbus Road, we come to Leven Street. Notice the price of petrol, 33 per pence per gallon. Camp Street. The original Our Lady School, Glencairn School and Glencairn Tower. We proceed down Wilma Hill Street, approaching the Civic Centre. This building is truly living up to its name, the Island Bar. It has been left high and dry when all around had been demolished. The old Motherwell Theatre then became the Rex Cinema and now is an amusement hall. Clayson Church. Crossstone Place at the corner of Cross Hill Street. Opposite corner was demolished and then cultivated as a green area. Ballroom, Motherwell's one and only ballroom, was formerly the Pavilion Theatre. It had a very short life and it was destroyed by fire and never reopened. The site was then converted into a car park. Motherwell at one time had five cinemas, the Odeon being the last to survive, finally succumbing to becoming a bingo hall. looking towards Brandon Court. Melville Drive with the railway goods station. again where the work has been proceeding. The old goods station is now being demolished and the bridge across the railway is being erected. This is 
the view from the footbridge at Brandon Court, where you can see Melville Drive. This must be one of the longest trains which I have seen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen carriages. This corner has now been completely eliminated. This is the end of the one-way system coming from Monteith Road towards West Hamilton Street. The site of the old valley. The rear of the houses in Brandon Street now due for demolition. On view, but the finishing touches are being made on the kerb stones. The job is almost complete. flowing around the system. He is now packing up after a job well done. The lights at the car park are now functioning, looking towards the cross. After completion with the rear view of the fine fair and Dalco buildings. The completed shopping centre. Shoes 69 and 9 pence, slippers 10 and 6, oranges 5 pence. These were the days. Steak 5 and 8 pence a pound, about 28p. These were the prices in 1979. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.